Ho ho ho, this time I'm much too late. Last time was 16 days ago and that's not good for a weekly vlog. I didn't see your impatient comments in the last vlog number 7. I've been busy with a webinar for the Indian government about which later. I wrote also the second newsletter with much useful content for the next summer. For example, a triple innovation to keep your place or your product cool, even in case of a blackout. So you can imagine how much effort I make for my subscribers to my newsletter. Why not be part of them? My newsletter respects your email box. It comes out every 14 days. So you could even stop now the video and see my beautiful link tree below the video, clicking on the leaf for the newsletter. This tree has also a link to this YouTube channel, so you can always find me back. So now we have uh, vlog number 8. Are you already worrying about the coming summer? How to keep your place and products cool? Want to avoid the situation of last summer? Last Friday I gave the before mentioned webinar for the National Production Council in India. I proposed an innovative approach of three new technologies and business models. Specifically it was the combination of one, a chiller with an ice storage rather than a chiller with a big electric battery. After all, why should you do demand side management with a lithium ion battery if much of your energy is used to produce cold, which can be stored much cheaper in an ice bank? Two, dynamic electricity tariffs instead of only a difference between night and day. Today many electricity markets offer retail and corporate access to dynamic pricing. You can have a big discount on your energy with the extreme low price points in some moments of the day. 3. If suitable, an internal combustion engine can drive the chiller instead of using an electric motor. That engine will continue to run during a blackout and maybe natural gas is cheaper during the summer. The engine heat goes into an additional absorption chiller. An ice storage will allow the engine to run at a constant optimal level where noise and maintenance are minimal and efficiency maximal. The Indian participants were interested in my recommendation to start pilot projects with this double or triple innovation for consumers where security of cold supply is essential. For example, hospitals, food logistics centers, hotels, the savings on the energy bill are only a bonus on this big advantage, which will eliminate a main worry for some of you. So if you are not in India, what is your situation? What do you expect this summer? Please give your comments also on the feasibility of the engine idea, which I checked with a leading Indian chiller supplier. I will monitor this site and respond to all the reactions. We in Switzerland are less concerned about heat waves, but in your country you might find several opportunities where to start a pilot that can be cloned to many other world consumers. So that's it for now. If this was useful for you, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. I told already about the newsletter. I'm waiting for you.